Yeah, architect Olga, my friend. This video is in respect to the question you asked me earlier this morning on how to convert your Revit floor plan view to a JPEG file or a JPEG image in such a way that when you are doing a presentation, if you want to blow it, if you want to zoom it, it will still retain its original, um, how do I put it now? So that it doesn't get blurred. So it, is, it still looks clear and sharp. How do you do that? If you just snap this 3D, uh, this uh, Revit floor plan view with a snapshot or screenshot, if you zoom it during your presentation, you are not going to see it clearly. It will be blurred. It won't be sharp. But if you follow through the process I'm about to teach you now, even if you zoom it, the more you zoom it, the clearer it becomes. So that your presentation becomes a terrific and awesome presentation. At the end of the presentation, you are happy. The people you presented to will be happy as well. So how do you do that? To do that, I advise you apply a floor material to your floor. For example, it can be tiles material, it can be wooden uh, flooring, it can be terrazzo, it can be anything, it can be stones. But for this tutorial, I'm going to apply wooden material, the one I, the one I call oak flooring. Oak flooring is what I'm going to apply here. Then after applying the material, I'm going to change it, change the, style, the, the visual style to realistic. Presently, this visual style you're looking at is the hidden line um, format. But I advise you, you change it to realistic, then apply a material to it. Now let's do that. To apply, to change this to visual, to realistic visual style, you go at the lower part, the, the, the lower part of your screen. You will see this here. Look at my cursor. You are going to see this icon for visual style. Click on it and select realistic. Then you now see the material, the default material of the floor already appeared. But I'm still going to change it further to oak flooring. That is a wooden floor material. How do I do that? I click, I come up here at the top of my screen, look for modify, click on the modify. Come here, geometry um, panel, you will see paint, click on that paint. Then different kind of material that are by default stored here will appear. I will scroll down because the material I'm looking for is down there. Now here is oak flooring. I click on oak flooring, then I come to the floor area and click on it. It will change to that oak flooring, that wooden material. Then I click down here to end it. When I have done this, it will make my floor, the, the, the conversion, so easy for me. The next thing I'm going to do now is this. I'm going to go to application menu here. Click on this small arrow at this uh, capital letter R here at the top left corner of my screen. Click on the small arrow. Then I go to exports. Hover around exports. This drop down will appear. When it appears, I go down to images and animation. Images and animation. Another set of options will appear by the right hand side. Then I go there and select image. Click on image. Once you click image, the next thing you are going to do, come to this export range. Export range. Select visible portion of current view. I click on this. After clicking on this, I come here where they said image size. Image size. I click inside here and change this to 15,000 pixels. Okay? It mustn't be that, but I usually put my own at that size. When I have done this, the next thing I'm going to do is I come here where you see change. I click on change. Not Buhari's kind of change anyway. Then I come to desktop. The desktop you have here is where I am going to save this material so that when I'm looking for it, I can go there and locate it. I'm saving it on my desktop. 
So I click that. Then I come to find name. I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to give this um, Anthony Oga as the name of my file, Anthony Oga. I'm sorry to use your name, but you have to deal with me. So Anthony Oga. After typing Anthony Oga, I now click save. After clicking save, the next thing I have to click is OK. And you wait for it. Wait for it. Don't be in a hurry. It is loading and it is saving it. Don't be in a hurry. Don't be in a rush. So once you have saved it, that is it. If you now go to that drawing and zoom it, you will see it clear without getting blood. So that is it. So let's minimize this and go to that drawing. I minimize this here. Let's look for Anthony Yoga because I saved it on my desktop. Here is Anthony Yoga. I double click on it. So this is the drawing that I just saved. I want to zoom it. Let's see if it's going to be clear. I'm zooming it. You can see how clear it is. It doesn't get blurred. Look at it. But if it is the one you snapped, the more you zoom it, the more blood you get. But this one, the more you zoom it, the more clearer it becomes. So I, ho I hope I've been able to answer your question and I hope that vi this video has been useful to you. Thank you, Anthony, and God bless you.